Hello there, Major Hill. Welcome back to some Victoria 3. This is Spain. Remember how I said no pain? There's like a little bit of pain because I reloaded the game like completely, but they still don't seem to be experiencing any war support. They should be, especially because they are occupied. Okay, so it says can't be reduced below zero because they hold the capital and the following war goals are not being occupied. Open French market, right? Okay, but I don't want those. So I should not have put open French market on. Now we know. Now we know. Don't do that, basically. Otherwise, you explode. And they are somehow actually pushing me in the south, which is kind of cray cray. And at least this is going. I mean, I guess I'm just, I'm, I'm making them very sad, which is really all I care about. You know, I'm making them upset and hurt. And that has value, I think. The game is definitely weirdly struggling. I wonder if it's just too much calculations of front lines. Right, right now I'm actually frozen. I'm literally, I'm actually just completely frozen. I'm trying not to touch anything on the screen. <laughs> so the reason why War Sports not going down, Archduke, is because I have not occupied their capital. Because I've not occupied their capital, I can't get any war support. Or right, well, rather, they can't go below zero, which is very irritating. Okay, there we go. We're, we're stopped being frozen, mostly. Surprised how bad the lag is. I'm going to let them throw themselves at me a little bit more. But I would really like to not die so much. Wow, I'm in just complete lag hell right now. This is insane. What on earth? I lower the speed and see if that helps. We try that. Okay, literally, look, I'm not on August 4th. Okay, let's try it. I'm on speed three now. We are advancing in the Sahara. I'm in 1857, man. There shouldn't be this much late game lag. Flaming Quest 900 is so much lag. Yeah, that's crazy. This is almost unusable. That's not good. Uh, I appear to have had a general move. That's pretty bad. I also seem to have an a input shortage. What is happening right now? Maybe I should lower graphics. No, nope, it's not my graphics. It's just the war and pop calculations. We're just going to have to deal with it, I think. Uh, excuse me? They've teleported to a different front, instantly capturing me? No. What is this game? I ask you. Oh my god. What... They're going to instantly take that. Okay, maybe I can hit him. Can I hit him? Can we do this? Can we do this? The Pyrenees, they've just rampaged into the Pyrenees. Why? How? That's bullshit. Uh, are they going to start to get taking score or some shit? Yeah, what the heck? They just instantly won a battle and then that cut the front line like crazy. That doesn't make any sense. Ah! I hate that it doesn't make any sense. It's so frustrating. All right, go defend. Just defend. Salvador? I know, I know, it is, it is. My war support's just actually plummeting now because the game is cheating. What? Ah, oh, and they got to attack me first. Swear to Christ, this game. All right, just go over there. Repair your morale. Good. Navy. Escorting convoys. Escort convoys to there, please. And there. Look at this. This is bullcrap. Oh, and they took it and instantly took the whole province. Okay, there's some salt right there for me. Hello, hello, how are you? How are you? That's so stupid, man. They just instantly took it. That really irritates me. Let them hit me. All right, at least they're very weak. Screw you. Party will never end. We're gonna end up on a white piece because of this bull crap. I, uh, I'm, I'm, that's it. I'm setting the goal. France has to be destroyed. The goal of this campaign now is to destroy France. Hello, Cage Globe. Have you found when it's a good time to change production methods? You should change production methods whenever it's the most economically feasible, you know? So, changing to mechanize, from lathes to mechanized workshops produces a shit ton more furniture. But if you don't have the tools, fabric, and wood to, to sustain it, don't do it. But do it when you can. And moving on automation, it's just about reducing costs, right? This co this takes 10k laborers. Actually, it does two things. One, it reduces laborers. So this one is 10k laborers less because it's a level seven. Okay, that is that frees up those people to work elsewhere. But it does use a little bit of resources. But the thing is, is that the wages paid to the laborers was most likely more than the cost of these goods. So you're actually saving money. And you're making it more profitable. Uh I would not even be a coward to load the save for the war. Oh hell no, I'm I'm carrying on, my friend. Absolutely not. I'm I am I am carrying on. No way. I think we got a piece out though. We got a piece. They took Caledonia. Cursed combat. Alright, white piece. I probably should have looked at the casualties. Oh well. Um that's not so great. Now there's like a little bit of devastation. But this region had more devastation. And so that's all I care about. We've we've caused them pain. 
Oh, okay. Let's go back to fixing our country, shall we? Put government wages back to normal. I'm using, I believe, the most advanced in everything, yeah. I, I'm not using the ones that reduce labor because I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to increase efficiency. I have a pretty decent population right now, so it's not that much of an interest, interest to me. Uh, I have already taken over South America, my friend. I've got all of the north and west coast. Next for me is Brazil. Unfortunately, puppeting them gives me 61 infamy. And I've only got space for 32, so it's out of my reach just yet. We are still colonizing a little bit in the Congo. I'm tempted to move down there, but I don't want to just yet. Let's move towards them. That'll help. And there we go. Back to making piles of cash. Good, good, good from investment transfer. People can go back to work. People can start to contribute. I have some colonies of Discover Resources over here with rubber and stuff, but we actually already have the potential for rubber pretty decently elsewhere. Uh, we just got to be cautious, you know? Got to be ready to jump on them. A lot of questions. Would you say Ching is too easy? Yeah, Ching is, my God, too easy. It is so easy to win. It's ridiculous. Oh my God, I looked away for a year and France has taken all of Kenya. Now they're going to end it. Okay, France is now just going to take all of Africa. That's crazy. What if they did combat calculations of their own instead of the CPU, like if a player controlled their own armies? <laughs> wow, there's an idea. What if we put, so it was the armies with micro? Hmm, interesting. Oh, wow. All of Africa is exploding. What? Literally all, this is such a stupid system. France is 2OP. I concur wholeheartedly with that estimation, my friend. France is indeed 2 OP. All right, next for me, I think we need to try and go towards trench warfare. We also need breach loading so we can get shrapnel artillery. Yeah, we have rifles. We have rifles. Uh, I think so. Yes, we do. We got rifles. All right, let's take a look at our trade routes. I think we're probably importing and exporting too much. Let's take a look at our goods. What are we shy on? Oh my Christ, we are shy on grain. We need to import some grain. Let's get... Oh my God, the Ching uses up so much. We are shy by about 2K. You know what? Let's just trade with let's trade with them and let's just flood our market with cheap grain. That's going to be awesome. They're also a little bit bad on fabric, surprisingly. So the thing is, is it's better to ex to import grain. Uh have some self-reliance, but it's better to import it. I think making as much wine as possible is a good idea. Cotton farms wouldn't be the worst idea either. Um but so where can we get the best cotton? Do with that. It's better to build it in colonies because we can steal from them. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> a little bit of coffee. Let's get another port there. The Follies of Youth. The centrist form is led to debate about the voting age. 25 would reduce enactment time. 21. Oh my god. Move to preserve oligarchy gets 20% political movement radicalism. Don't care. God, it's a year for the next checkpoint. My god. You know, I think we can probably turn off um, road maintenance for Toledo. I don't think we need that. Pretty much 100% of gold goes into treasury. Yes, that's correct, so see they've missed. Still getting lots of migration over here. So expanding this is probably only to our benefit. This guy's making wine too, which is nice. Fertilizers also might be a good shout. And how's our chemical plants? Wow, we are not making money from our chemical plants. Why not? All right, that should that should shrink the trade routes that I have. Right, so this is a bit of an issue. What I've done accidentally is I've tried to import too much. Ah, that's so frustrating. Turn that off, and I would rather make my own, please. And there we go. So that should make all that we need. Hopefully it will hire people quickly. Come on, buddy. Please hire people faster. Why are you not hiring people? You only have 4% employment. Yeah, I want to only export, exactly. Can you... Hello? They're not hiring people. Do I have to subsidize them? Like, what the fuck? Okay, I guess sulfur is a problem. Yes, it is. I'm s All of it's being stolen. Oh, no, I'm actually trading it away. There we go. Raising concerns. Yeah, we should be fine for qualifications, but it's just... Oh, my God, please. All right, there we go. You're making wages. That's good. That's good. Come on. Now we're going to turn that off. And now you should still do that. I've cut down the sulfur. Hire more people. Yes. Okay, there we go. <sighs> okay, good. They will now start to do that like crazy. Uh, the other thing I think we need to think about is we need to be using fertilizers as much as possible. Why is my maize farming not doing that? Please do that. Thank you. Inefficient agriculture. Great. Using more fertilizer is good. We make a lot of it. And you know what? Actually, I've just realized we have so much fertilizer. Let's just trade it away. This will keep the price high. We need to keep the price really high. A migration law. I've actually kept my migration under migration controls. Because I didn't want to have a ginormous population because it was causing huge lag. You have a lot of questions, Succeeded Mist. You have a lot of questions. Capitalism aristocrats. The one that's the best for your investment pool is 
dependent on your laws, right? You want to check your laws. So capitalists are better in the long term because they make a lot more money from factories. Aristocrats are better if you're more agrarian in your economy. And do bear in mind that your different economic system changes that. So under interventionism, only 5% of your aristocrats' investments give money but 25% of your capitalists. Under agrarians, though, it's 25% aristocrats. So if you are a fundamentally agrarian economy, being under agrarianism with a lot of aristocrats is useful because you can use that to develop your agrarian economy, but you can't use that money to develop your industry economy. That's a big problem as well. The fact that you're not actually allowed to use that money is really freaking annoying. All right, we're fixing, our, fixing everything. Laissez-faire is best. You know, I haven't really tried laissez-faire that much, to be honest. Uh, yes, the thing is, obviously, you do get 50% capitalists. So I probably should, to be honest, do that, especially because the loan interest rate. Yeah, I really should be on laissez-faire. Yeah. The other thing is you then can't use it to build agriculture. You can only use it to build manufacturing industries. You can't use it to build agrarian stuff. So you end up having to spend everything to build agriculture, which is a bit frustrating. Oh, we can support more declared interests. Yay. Wow, that's a lot of declared interests. Holy crap. Um, Jesus. Well, I want to get stuck in in America, so let's do that. And we'll also do Egypt. Whoa, what's this? What's this? They're fighting the Netherlands. No way. Oh my god, what? Does it fair cover resources that are not agricultural? Yeah, it's other things like manufacturers. Conquer Tidor, West New Guinea. Ah, uh, Jesus, France, what are you doing? What are you doing, France? Stop. Okay, Tidor. Okay, you gotta offer me something, dude. You gotta offer me something, okay? Lan Fang has joined. France Napoleon roleplay, right? I don't think I can join this. Okay, Italy just joined, and I'm in. Let's go. France War II electric, electric boogaloo. Let's go. Oh my god. This guy needs to be uh, promoted like crazy. All right, and then we want... You know what? Let's just mobilize everybody. Oh boy. Is this how you want to do? We're, this is a different war, my friend, but Italy has joined. Italy's here. Okay, Italy and the Netherlands. Let's do this. Let's mess them up. Okay, so they're probably going to take that, but that's okay. Let's just put actually everybody on this line. Uh, war goals are to humiliate France. That's fine by me. Ooh, here we go. So what we're going to do, can France good enough? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit them as hard as we can. Oh, wait, what's their... I've just realized, what's their military at? Skirmish and mobile. Oh, yeah. Succeed to miss. Thank you very much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Really do appreciate that. Glad to have you on board, my friend. Oh, yeah. All right, this glassworks is making porcelain. Make me some bone china now. Be paper bleaching. Okay, here we go. This guy is awesome. He's advancing. He's coming. Fisherman's friend with a follow as well. Welcome to the stream. An absolute delight to have you. Hope you're well today. We're going to be pushing as hard as we can right now. Oh, here they come. The French are here. And they hit me first. Which means we get to crush them. Oh my god. Oh wow, they're getting they're getting pushed back. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we just gotta hold our own border, I think. Let's just hold our own border. <laughs> I really appreciate all the follows today, guys. I will be ending the stream in just a couple minutes, however. Indeed, ending this episode. I just want to see this push happen. I would like to see a little bit of victory. Uh, do really do appreciate the follows, guys. Check me out on YouTube as well. You can exclamation mark YouTube for any other links. Come on, buddy. Come on. Democracy without people. What? Come on. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. And... Sweet victory. There is a... God, there is a lot of people here. Uh, okay. And we're winning. Yes. Oh, goodbye. We just got to help hold this front, I think. Just, you know what? Let's let's try to help out this one here. That's fantastic. Okay. That is brilliant. Okay. This guy's got some problems. All right. Go to, go to freaking Italy instead. Eh, eh, eh. There you go. I guess we should probably have our Navy uh, patrolling to there. Okay. And behold, our first invasion into France. All right, in the next episode, we are going to be making pushes into France further, trying to enforce this wonderful little war goal. Oh, good. We quite literally barely took anything at all. Of course we did. Oh, there are two battles going on. They happened at the exact same time. Now that is something, and both of them are going to be losses. That's pretty awesome. Going to continue to fixing everything and trying to destroy France as best we can. I was Adrian Lacantina, but I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.